My client Anna had high fasting blood sugars and a bedtime snack was not working. Let's talk about why. And in case you're new here, my name is Megan. I'm a registered dietitian specialing in type 2 diabetes, and I help people reach remission without resorting to restrictive diets or relying on medications. Now, it's important to know that morning blood sugars can be high for a few reasons, so it's really important to get a personalized approach to know what is going on with you. A bedtime snack typically helps to keep your blood sugars from dropping too low in the night and rebounding high in the morning. This is typically called the Samoji effect. And that is completely different from dawn phenomenon, which is actually most of the time the case for people with type 2 diabetes. While a bedtime snack can still help with dawn phenomenon, it's not as common. That being said, try it out for yourself and see what works. A balanced bedtime snack should focus on protein and fat and not so much on the carbohydrates. This can look like cheese, guacamole with veggie dippers, even a scoop of peanut butter with some sugar-free chocolate chips if you're feeling something sweet. If you need help getting your blood sugars down without feeling restricted, send me a DM. And make sure to follow along if you want more support.